We're going to get started on this Java Lab 3 here. So to call the Java project Lab 3 variables, so we go new project, uh, always go Java application, Java with ANT. I'm just pasting that in right there for the project name and finish. So you provide it with some lines of code. So you have to declare and use these variables. So everything has to go inside public static void main for now. Um, now we have a problem. Each of these has an error because at the end we need all the semicolons. And then we're going to format, highlight, source format. And that'll tab everything so it's vertically aligned. And here's what we want to print out right here. So let's get those lines in. Putting two system out prints and just putting that print out right inside there. All right, just following along so far and we should be able to run this and see the output that we're looking for. So right there, that's the output. Now you're supposed to use these variables here. So let's go ahead and I'll just take care of year. So the year, I'll just do 1990 is on the screen here. You have to pick a different one. So 1990. Now, this is an integer, so you are not allowed to, oops, you're not allowed to quote it because year is expecting an integer value, not a string. When you quote it, it turns into a string. So this will actually just be the number 1990. And I want to replace 1990 here with year. So we'll do this and hit run. And there we go, year, year. Well, year is there, but it's not the value of year we want. So I'm gonna go end the string, delete the second quote, make that font a little bigger. but you can't leave it like this, you have to concatenate with a plus. So that's how you attach one string to basically any other variable type. This happens to be a string to an integer, it just adds it in at the end. We can run it now. You're gonna see that, that 1990 is back, and if I did 1992, you can change it to whatever you'd like, it changes both of those print statements right there because it's the actual value and you can see it highlighted when you have your cursor over a variable it'll highlight the other occurrences of the variable so day only appears once but you'll set day date and month and remember when you're doing these they have to be set to a string they're all strings so you can't set them to numbers